You know, to answer your question, I don't like it, but it's it's a you know it's a sacrifice we make for ESPNU, and we should probably pass on those because every time we go on ESPNU, we get smoked. Great. How much is it? How well BC played as no, they to they, they they were great. I mean, that, I've been in this now five years, and that's that's as thorough and as consistent of an effort as I've seen from a team in five years. Then you add the talent they have and the speed. It was like they were on steroids, and and uh, you know, and we just we just couldn't match it. It ends a pretty good streak for you guys, but some of you just now have to kind of get back to drawing work and get back together. Yeah, I mean, you, you have games like this, you know. You know, we had one recently with UVM. Actually, I didn't think we played that bad at UVM, but the score looked like it was uglier than it was. But you know. I don't know what to say about it. I'm as confused as the poor doghouse was that was sitting up there waiting to cheer about something. We just uh, we just didn't have it, and a lot, of, and they had a lot to do with it. They just, you know, I, I think if you look at the first 10 minutes of the game, they just had it in our zone. We couldn't get out of the zone. Our D right from the first 10 minutes um, were on our heels, and uh, you know they kind of play the way we're supposed to play. They got it deep. They forechecked us hard, and they possessed the puck. And they did it for 60 minutes. Important game for us coming off of you know what we thought was a well-played game on Friday night. The outcome you know concerned us because Northeastern took the two points from us. But I thought uh, we played very well on Friday at Northeastern. Uh, and we thought on the day off yesterday we just talked about he's trying to uh, you know come back with the same type of effort but eliminate odd man rushes because two of the three goals that Northeastern scored on. Friday night, we'll me in rushes. And we had a defenseman pinched down, and we had a, a, a long rebound on the first goal that resulted in. And tonight, I thought that's the one key thing we accomplished. Uh, you talk about goals and different things that happened in the second period, but we really were, were we had much better structure to our game. So I thought uh, we, were, we were way sounder from that perspective, just more structure and not pinching defensemen and gambling a little bit too much. I thought our offensive zone play was outstanding. I thought we cycled the puck very, very well, uh, maintained good possession, and you know broke open a, a really close uh, first period game. That was four periods in a row that were very, very uh, close. And then uh, we just uh, got some breaks and bounces went our way in the second period. So the fifth period kind of uh, brought a little separation to the two teams. But uh, you know, people ask me, do you like splits? Only if we lose that first one. So, our, the league is just uh, incredibly close. Though you look at those statistics and points and wins and losses and ties. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know how important it is to finish our. You know, we're all trying to win a pennant. That's what we're, we stayed within the four points now of New Hampshire, which is important for us. So, our. But no matter who, where you finish, you're going to play a very, very good team in the first round of the quarters. So it could be a lot of jubilation about getting a home ice bid, but you still got to play. Uh, you know, a team is certainly capable of going to the uh, Fleet Center from well, what's the Bank Garden? What is it now? TD Garden. TD Garden. Uh, Brian Gibbons an outstanding night. You know, he's been an excellent player for us through his career, and I thought tonight. Uh, you know, he scored his 100th point, scored three goals, so he was kind of a pretty good offensive weapon for us tonight. Jerry, when you score seven, not a lot of people look at the defense, but you guys didn't give up a great A shot until almost midway through the third period. I mean, how well was the, did the defense play, particularly in the zone? I thought very, very strong. Uh, and like I said, we, we didn't put ourselves in a situation where defending two and ones and three and twos uh, very often. But we, we were a solid defense team. Parker made some, uh, you know, some good solid saves for us, also. You know, you mentioned those two points being critical. We get another game coming up here in just two days. You know, how, how does your team reset after this huge win today at home? You know, hosting another game in just two days. Well, we understood, we looked at, uh, you know, late last week we looked at a schedule that was going to be a little different, more of a pro schedule. Uh, you know, the Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, except we all we stay in this area. You know, the pros go from Washington to, you know, uh, 
Carolina back to Boston. But uh, it is a little bit unusual for us. But uh, I think we, and then a game on Friday. So we just looked at it as a very, very important stretch for our t for our team and for trying to stay with New Hampshire. And it was difficult, like I said, coming back on the Friday night bus. We, you know, we lost the first of the four games, and now we're back even one one. I think, uh, coaches could always, you know, find something that we did wrong, but uh, especially giving up the goal. But yeah, I think we play that well. I put a lot of wins together. Well, I mean, the impressive part was the skating and, and the, the, the winning the battles. I thought, which comes from the, you know the heart and everything, not just about the skill. Yeah, we had uh, we had a long meeting yesterday, kind of talking about all that stuff, and uh, I think it really paid off today. And uh, everyone showed that everyone showed up at the rink ready to compete, and uh, really brought it today. Jerry talked about the defense and a lot, not allowing those odd man chances that he did on Friday night. How well did you think you, you guys did that tonight? Uh, I think defensively we played almost as good as we could play, and. Uh, I think a lot of that, that translates into a lot of our offensive rushes. Uh, good D-zone coverage always leads to transition, so it worked well for us. You seem to be able to get in front of and behind there, depending on where you were, their defense a lot of the time. I mean, Williams goal, you were sort of in front. And was that part of the plan? To, did you see something with them that you could? Uh, we were just trying to get as many pucks in that as possible and uh, kind of put some traffic in front of him. He's a big goalie, so if he sees it, he's going to save most of them. So we just kind of try to get a lot of traffic to the net. We're getting the 100th point, the hat trick for his career, hat trick, career high in points. And yeah, it was a pretty special day, I guess, for me. And uh, kinda Cam Atkinson was giving me a hard time all week. Stuck on 99 there, but uh, <laughs> he was the first one to congratulate me too, so it's good. Did you uh, rub it in at all well, jokingly after a game with Cam? Uh... No. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I guess I did. But uh, <laughs> he's a great player, I'm sure. You know, after Joe, I'm sure Cam will be the next one to get 100. So he's And uh, you assisted on uh, his uh, shorthanded goal, I believe. Can you just talk about that play a little bit? Uh, yeah, Cam made a great read uh, down the wall, kind of forecheck, stole the puck from them, uh, gave it to me in the slot, and uh, kind of the goalie and the D both laid out to block my shot, and I just slid it back door to him. And he did a great job of not going by the net, kind of staying at the net, and he was rewarded for it.